What's going on everybody? It's gonna be a different kind of video. Well, because, uh, well, I, I'm sick right now and not like sick. I mean like <coughs> <coughs> sick, you know? Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little backstory though before we jump into this video. Uh, so we ordered pizza uh, a few weeks ago and uh, I go to open the door, you know, and I hit the pizza guy right in the back with my door. So I'm like, well, why is he standing so close? So I was like, oh man, I'm sorry. And he goes, oh, watch out, snake, snake, and points at the ground. And I'm like, what is it? And I look down, it's this little, little guy like that long, you know? I'm like, oh, he ain't gonna hurt you. So I took the pizza, Baylor grabbed the snake. We're like, oh, we should probably bring him inside because we're afraid in my neighborhood. So like the lawn guys may kill him. Some old lady may be like, oh, I'm gonna get him and beat him with a shovel. We don't want that. So we originally planned on relocating him. Then we realized, well, Shoot, he's probably hungry. So we gave him some food, we gave him some water, we put him a little little uh, cage in the garage, made him one out of an old tank that I had. And uh, then we're like, man, we kind of like this guy. So we kept him. I realize how bad that sounds until now. But I mean, I guess that's the same. Most animals come like that, so it's all right. We figured we can probably give him a better life than just releasing him out in the wild. Sure, he's not gonna slither around as far or as much, but guess what? He's gonna have constant food and constant water always coming in. So. I think what we're going to do today is, uh, well, I want to give you guys an update on everything that's going on here at my house, all the, the reef tank, um, the planted tank, the peacock that I have, and along with uh, Spike, my tortoise in the backyard. So I figured we'll take this video, give you guys a show of everything along with the tour of uh, our new snake. We named him Pizza. Shout out to the pizza guy. And uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's jump into checking everything out. A lot of stuff may have changed, may not have. I don't know. I haven't really shown off any of the tanks very often other than the reef tank because we just bought our Harley Quinn shrimp. So other than that, actually to speak on that, the shrimp is doing very well. I have noticed a good re reduction, re reduce. There's less sh starfish in the tank now, so that's a plus. Uh, but he only comes out at night, so that's, that's kind of a bummer. So you know, what can you do? It's daytime. Well, it's not. It's evening time right now. So either way, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's uh, let's go check some stuff out. All right, everybody. So we made it outside here. We decided to let's start this off with my boy Spike. It is a little dark out right now. What was that noise? Something was jingling. Either way, Spike's right here right now. I don't know what he's doing out. He's chilling. It's probably because uh, he he could be hungry. I haven't uh, I didn't feed him yet today because I knew I was gonna film this. So I figured I'd wait to feed him with you guys here. So I give him like a big handful of lettuce there. Um, the other day he ate a bunch of zucchini and he loved it. So this is what we got going on with Spike. Uh, his water's a little dirty over there, but it's okay, it's full. So that's all that matters. So Spike's right in here. Here, I'll pull him out for you guys. All right, buddy. There he is, look at big boy. He's big chillin'. So he goes in his house under here at night, as you guys can see. He has uh, worn down all the grass in there. He tries to cut some of the grass down with his mouth. He doesn't eat much grass, which I figured he'd eat more. But what he does eat is some of this hibiscus plant. I wanna get another one along with maybe another plant that he can eat. So hopefully uh, we can come up with a plant idea that he can eat and uh, we can come in here and plant it. If you guys wanna see that, I'll gladly make a video on that. But yeah, so this is kind of my, my daily routine with him. He comes out here and he roams the grass. He'll go soak in his water at some point. He'll come here, he'll eat. I give him a whole bunch of different foods because uh, I've been cooking a lot of hello fresh meals and uh since it's just me i do have a lot of leftover uh like produce and stuff so i always make sure it's something that he can eat first and if he can't eat it then uh i give him kind of the scraps and the leftovers so he's gotten to eat a whole bunch of stuff that uh, i normally wouldn't just go to the store and buy him uh because it's stuff that should be fed in like only moderation you know so this is a uh, his daily route right here so he's gonna go over there he's gonna eat some of that and everyone who doubted my brick system uh take that because he's been out here for like two months now and he's doing great probably more like three months now he's been out here a long time and he's been doing very very well so to everyone who said that would not work exactly so making our way back inside well here's the snake enclosure which I'll give you guys an overlook of this real quick. His light just turned out, so he is inside there right now. Um, so he'll, he'll come out here in a little bit. We may get a little glimpse of him coming out, but he has a big stick that he never uses, his water dish, and obviously his little rock that he hides under. Uh, but that, that, that's it, He's he doesn't climb very often. But someone who is crazy that you guys haven't seen in a while, and I apologize, this tank looks like uh, real bad is this tank right here, very green, very algae infested, uh, very low in water, it's evaporated quite a bit in like a week since I've cleaned it, all this algae showed up. But here is Mr. Peacock. 
He's doing really well for anyone who's been concerned about him. He's doing really well. Our guard did pass away. Um, he just wasn't eating. I don't know what was going on. I tried feeding him uh, little mini blood worms. I tried feeding him uh, the bigger blood worms. I tried feeding him uh, mice shrimp, which is what I'm feeding them today. And for some reason, he, he wouldn't eat. I couldn't get him to eat anything. Every now and then, he'd grab one or two pieces. But for the most part, he just wouldn't eat. So he ended up passing away. But Mr. Peacock is doing really well. He looks real skinny right now because once he eats, he fattens up. And then it's skinny by the morning and is starving again. So don't know how that happens. Also, you will notice that our goldfish is not in here. That's because I believe he ate it. Woke up one morning and it was gone. So I'm going to assume he somehow sucked that thing in. Don't know how, don't know why. Uh, he must have been talking a bunch of smack because he smoked them. So that's Peacock. We're going to come back and feed him. Next, we got our planted tank right here. This corner tank. This thing's sweet. I love it. Look at that freaking big what was a feeder goldfish and now he's a friend there's two feeder goldfish in here uh, that they're now friends I did get some red neon red tetras I don't know if you guys can see these or not I'm gonna try my best to get them on camera for you but they're similar to the, to the regular neons the blue but they have a, a red stripe and uh, red eyes so I personally think they're really cool and uh, a lot of the shrimp have been coming out a lot of these crabs have been oh hang on hang on those little crabs right there have been starting to just like kind of just spawn I, I don't know where they've came from uh, I didn't put them in here, uh, but they do a pretty good job on cleaning stuff up. I've never done a water change on this tank. I want to admit that. Since I've planted it and done it and set it up in my house, never once have I done a water change on this tank. I don't know why, um, but every time I test it, it is like super, super clean. I, the, all the water levels stay super like level. Like they, there's no fluctuations in anything. And I think it has to do with it being a full biological ecosystem at this point, because all of the plants that are in here, the shrimp, the crabs, everything that's in here now is all working together like a regular ecosystem would. So the one thing I am missing is a lid on this tank, which causes it to evaporate quite a bit. So that is something I do want to get taken care of. But finding a lid for this tank is so hard. Like I'm to the point where I kind of just want to buy a piece of plexiglass and cut it because it's getting ridiculous because you physically can't find anything for it. But I wanted one that hinges so it didn't hit the light and all this stuff. It's just, it, it's a pain. But since we're sitting here jibber jabbering, I will go ahead and feed these guys a little bit. They've been sucking down some shrimp as well as everyone else. But look at that big swarm of shrimp going. Everyone going crazy. So they all like it. The little Tetras get some. Uh, I did notice the, I don't know who spawned, but I did notice there was little guppy babies somewhere around here. I, they, they're, they're not guppies. They were probably the mollies. They uh, they they were in these rocks somewhere. Um, I don't know if they still come out ever or, or if they all got eaten, but but they all spawned in here and I haven't seen anyone grow and I haven't noticed any new fish. So either they got sucked in the filter, they got eaten, or they just died because they weren't getting food. I don't know. But either way, that's kind of what I do. That's how I feed them. Uh, I come over here and I feed Mr. Cock the same way. Kind of give him a little, little, little drizzle here. Give him like a little, little chunky there. And he goes to crazy town. He's, oh, oh, there he goes. Yep, there you go, bud. So he, he chases around these chunks for a while. And uh, then I come back around, do another round of giving him a little bit of food too. On to the next friends that we got, our bluegill and our sunfish. Uh, I don't know what kind of sunfish this guy is. Still have yet to figure that out. Uh, I didn't think I was going to keep these guys this long, but I, uh, look, look, at, look at these things. Look at, they're crazy. Look at, they, they love these little shrimp. Um, but I, I feed them worms. We give them bread. They like rice. Uh, they kind of eat anything. They ate peas the other day. I was like, oh, let's see if they eat some peas. Baylor threw a pea in there, smoked it. So it's weird. They eat a bunch of everything and it makes no sense. Uh, but I need to get them uh, some more bigger substance food. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the rest of these shrimp in here, rinse it out. There we go. Everyone's gonna munch a little bit more. I also do come through periodically throughout the day and give them some flakes. These are the flakes that I use if anyone is curious. I don't know if it's focusing on that or not. But if anyone's curious, I do use those. Uh, over here, if anyone's curious what this is, this is my, uh, I was shooting a commercial for this lure company and I put them on this turntable and was spinning them around for footage. So if anyone's curious what that was. But now on to uh, the grand finale of the update, but not the grand finale of the video because pizza is the grand finale of the video. But look at what's going on here. The reef tank, shabam. We do need a lot more corals. I did highlight these two corals that I got uh, since the last time you guys saw the video. I highlighted those, I believe, in the shrimp video. Um, the shrimp hides either in this cluster of rocks 
or in this cluster. So that's kind of where I've noticed him sleeping at night. But as you can see, there still is a lot more of those Anisteria or Astaria starfish that are in there. There's still quite a few all around. Like there's one here, 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 all down in there. But they are okay because they're already down to half, maybe three quarter. You know, he's been going to town on these shrimp. I will say, let me turn on the light here. I feel like you guys can't see me. Let me, uh, oh, oh yeah, how's it going? All right, there's a little, hang on. There we go. I hope that sponge wasn't on there that whole time. Probably definitely was. All right, so I got some food here. Uh, I made this tank too tall, by the way, for anyone who's curious. Like, I'm I'm 6'1", and, like, I mean, the tank's roughly, like, 5'11", but... For me to sit here and pour stuff in, I gotta go on my tippy toes and like give it a dump. I dump them half the food now, let them go crazy crazy. Look at them all go, yeah. Our goby's gonna come out in a second. There he is in the back, look at him. Here he comes, yeah. Come on out buddy, get you some food. There you go, he'll come on out. Uh, everyone in here is doing good. I believe I told you guys the fox face died. Uh, I still don't know how that happened. It was just weird, it was just random. Woke up one morning, wasn't doing too good, and then the very next day he was dead. So, not sure what happened, he was eating, everything was fine. Just all of a sudden got, I don't know if it was overly stressed or wasn't eating maybe enough algae because it's a new tank and I didn't think to put the algae clip back in there. So that could have been on me. I'm not too sure. But none of these guys need like a legit algae clip because they can peck off these rocks. There's enough to go around. But everyone is doing good in here as of now. So hopefully we don't have any more issues. I want to get more fish. I want to get more corals. But fish are really hard to come by for the ones that I want along with the corals that I want. Um, just my local shops haven't had as many things as they once did back when I used to make all these reef videos like a year and a half ago. So we're gonna go ahead and dump the rest of all of this in here. Let them go crazy. Usually these two big fellas suck 50% of it down and then everyone else kind of gets their, their, their little piece. But this is the grand overview of the reef tank. So, uh, oh, anyone who's curious, our sand sifter star is still down in here. He's doing really well. He's keeping the sump a little cleaner than it once was because he's eating all the detritus. And yes, if anyone's criticizing me, I do have to clean that. So now on to the main, main big grand finale, which now I will throw you guys back to yesterday when me and Baylor caught, or sorry, a few days ago when I wasn't sick, we caught some li uh, a lizard. We fed him. We showed him off to you guys. Right now he's in shed, so he's not a fan of us. Uh, doesn't like my shadow coming near him, and he's kind of ugly right now because he's gray. So now you guys enjoy pizza and whatever else happens from there. I'm not too sure where we ended off filming, so this is the last I physically talked to you. I love you all. <laughs> oh, there's one right here. Uh, okay, there's one right behind the brick. You yeah, see him? So you able to sneak attack on him? I'll keep. Did you get him? Yeah. Oh god, yeah. That was a good snag. You think pizza's gonna be excited? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Watch out for Spike, brother. He's on the move. Pizza. Oh, there you are, buddy. Here, hang on. Is he shedding? Come here, pizza. All right, here you go, pizza. You're in there, buddy. All right, ready and... Oh, it's game time. Oh, what? Oh, I ripped the mean one. In the meantime, you know what this means? You gotta try one. No. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Let, let, him, let him eat. Well, in the meantime, while he's eating, you gotta try one. Are you sick? Uh, there's no- Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, he smoked him. Oh, he got him. him. Yeah. All right, well now, while he chokes that down. <laughs> I was spitting it out so quick. Okay, uh, okay so to, to put it put in- uh, It's gonna screw my mouth up. I can't though. smell it. So I, I put it in my mouth for 10 seconds. Augie did 30, 35. I lasted like 10 something. Yeah, I'm not trying to destroy my taste buds. No, 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 no. Like, like, like just put it in the, oh my God, that was insanely fast. You gotta move it around your mouth. Keep moving it, keep moving it, keep moving it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't even think about it. You just smoked that sucker in there. You're insane. How's that? <laughs> it's so bad. It's like acid on your tongue, isn't it? Where are you going? It's not good, is it? Why do you still have it in your mouth? Just spit it out. Oh, well, why'd you put it in there? Now we gotta pick it out. <coughs> Did it get any sweeter? <laughs> How was it? I actually thought it was gonna be worse. It's kind of like acid on the tongue though. Yo, it's bad. Yeah, it's not good. That was pretty good timing, I thought. Yeah, I wonder how long that was. Probably a good 15, 20 seconds. Oh, that's sour. 250 grams of it. <laughs> 
How, that was, that was like good, like 15 seconds. Do you think there's a sweet part in the middle though? Like once you get past the sour? God, or do you think no. it's only sour? That thing's just death, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Pizza. Time for pizza to go back. What's up, buddy? Are you shedding or am I making stuff up? Oh, hey, Charlie, how's it going? Oh, he's not a fan of pizza. He got scared. Oh, you're cold, brother. Get you some of that nice sun. Oh yeah, there you go, brother. In the hole he goes in a second. Look at him go. Did he go through the hat? Uh, no, I don't think that hole's there anymore. He can't get in back door no more. Yeah, because we moved this a little hide. He's pissed, look at him. He's on the hunt. All right, pizza. You relax in there, pal. Oh yeah, there you go. Make sure you're closed up. Can't have no escapage around here. I'm gonna smoke that lizard. Oh god, yeah. 